In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build your own portable hard disk drive using components like these that you can buy separately and for about half the cost of what it would take to go out and buy a dedicated portable hard disk drive like this. So in terms of items that we're going to be talking through today, we've got this a U-Green hard drive enclosure for two and a half inch uh, hard disk drives. Currently, that's just under £8 on Amazon here in the UK. And then I've also got here um, a Toshiba 500 gigabyte hard drive, again, on Amazon, just over £14. Doesn't come very nicely packaged. It just came in some bubble wrap. I think this is out of an OEM bundle or something like that. But super cheap. In total, these two items, £22 and a few pence. Obviously, you can go out to Amazon and buy a cheap hard drive that's already, hard, portable hard disk drive that's already made. The cheapest I could find, £28.50 something. But it's not a brand I recognise. I suspect it's one of those Chinese brands that come and go. If you want to go and buy a proper Western digital drive which will have a quality drive in it like this Toshiba unit, you're looking at about £50. So what we're doing here is about half the price of doing it to the same level of quality. Now you may be wondering why I'm, I'm building a portable hard drive when I've already got one. Just for context, that is the one I used to back up my laptop that's the the device i use for my personal stuff for running youtube and doing my youtube videos i have one of these this dell small form factor pc i've done a couple of videos about these types of pcs i really like them they're super nice convenient small and always very inexpensive second hand but in my particular case this only came with a 500 gigabyte ssd it runs really fast, but I'm really filling up that space quickly with the videos I'm doing. So I need another portable hard disk drive to pull that information off so I can store it safely. Next step then, let's build this drive. So starting with the enclosure, let's just get this out. I've, I've had one of these before, so I'm pretty sure. So you get the enclosure itself. And then in here is the cable. Where's it going? So yeah, just under there. So what you get is one of these fancy cables with the unusual end of that shape. And then the enclosure is just a, a sort of light plastic. There's no tools required. Let's just get it out of this bag. And there we go. It's just a very simple plastic case and there's just a a clip there that you just have to pull the the rear off and then all we do is we get on the hard drive I've just got the bag ready let's get that out and then because it's all completely toolless you just slide it in here and then just make sure you get it up right there you go and then just pop it in like that and then slide our cover back and there we go portable hard drive super simple as i mentioned no tools so really easy to do uh, all we now need to do is just set it up on the computer just before i show you that though here's one i made earlier i've had this one a couple of years i think and what i did here was i had a laptop that i um, upgraded to ssd from hard disk drive and I just reused the drive from the laptop. And as you can see on this one, the disk drive here dated date of manufacture, uh, February 2012. So this has been in here a couple of years. Uh, I, that's just got a backup of another old laptop, but um, it's a great opportunity if you've got an old laptop that you wanna get rid of and you don't want your hard drive going out there into the, into the, the world or into the ether, you can reuse your hard drive in one of these cases. Uh, and that drive works perfectly, even though it's 13 years old or 12 years old. Um, so again, a great option. You don't need to buy a hard disk drive new if you don't need to. So here we are at the computer. I'm just gonna plug in the um, hard drive now. Um, let's do that. And then here at the computer, the first thing we need to do is go and partition that drive. So we need to call up, if you just type in disk, but it's disk management, and you get this uh, create and format hard disk partitions. And what it's come up with here, you must initialize the disk before logical disk manager can access. So this is disk one. This is shown here. It's unknown, 465 gig. And what we must do is um, partition this or create it correctly. I'm going to go with the default selection GPT, so just hit OK. 
and then that's allocated it. And then just right click on it and create new simple volume. So go through, click next. And then we're going to create our volume size. That's the size that it's given us, 476, whatever. And then I'm going to assign it a drive letter. In my case, it wants to give it E. I think that's because I have a disk already called D. So let's do that. And then I'm going to go with all the defaults and click finish. So what that's doing is now prepping that disk. And there we go. It shows up in, in Windows. And if I, um, let's just go and grab a downloaded folder. Here's where I've downloaded Zoom for a call. And if I just copy that into the new volume, just check it's working. Paste it in there. And there we go. That's working in, in the drive. And if I then call up the properties on that, we can see, if I bring it into the middle of the screen, we've got 465 gig of usable space on our 500 gigabyte hard drive. And there we go, that's how to make yourself a super cheap but really good quality portable hard disk drive in minutes. I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, let me know, send me a comment, hit that thumbs up, and I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.